going on, everyone? Pro. I woke up and started calling all those rap posers names again because they're posers and they can eat shit and they're in shitty clubs and whatnot. And I'm mad at Tiffany because, look, Syox, you're walking a very, very, very fine line. Only reason why you aren't having issues happening to you right now is because you are actually a licensed therapist. So it would be easier to just, like, sue you and get your license taken away if you do anything stupid than it would be to knock your teeth in. So. Also, you're not dumb, so I don't think you would do anything stupid. Um. Trust Tiffany. Trust that stupid rap whore. Or trust that bitch as far as I can fucking... I just don't trust that dumb bitch. Is what it comes down to. Okay? So... Stupid Witches Coven female actress put out some kind of article about, like, what to do if there's no intent and blah, 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 blah. Look, you stupid whore. I think what she likes the most, I think what Tiffany, Stephanie likes the most is that when I met her, she was so hot and she was letting me do things to her that I opened up to her because she was letting me do things to her, right? Then, like, a lot of the things that I was having my bots tell the other ones, some of them, yes, might have been, you have to sprinkle in some of the real things, but if you're playing an act, a lot of that shit is just shock value to get someone. It's like a, what was it, Alexander the Great, he would create a gap and then hammer an anvil, right? Like, when you saw my Star Trek, Starcraft, attack when I did the um, I created a gap right I scanned the, the the minerals the dude brings up his soldiers I created a gap I went through the gap I dropped my siege tanks and I won right that's that's what it is you create shit so that way you create a gap and then you can win so the shit that I was telling you Stephanie is real the shit I was telling the other bitches I literally told you, a lot of it was just from, like, random thinking. Like, look, if you watch the movie, um, I even said it before. Like, some of these bitches are obsessed with their hands because I was using a line. I had one of my bots use a line from, what's it called? It's that wrestling movie. It's like a wrestling movie, but it's also, like, banging the older girl type of a movie. Vision Quest. With Cooch, the Indian... It's like, so what problem, man? I'm not really an Indian. Native American or whatever the fuck. It's just some shit I made up in my head. Because my father's an alcoholic and he beats the shit out of me every day. Yeah, well, we got problems too. I'm trying to... I was super hot. Carla is living in my house because her car broke down and she caught me with my face in her panties. Was she wearing them? Shut up, man. This is the best. And then he bangs Carla. Yeah. Anyways. Um, um, look. I met Stephanie. At some shitty Mason party. I'm just going to I'm going to keep saying it until you get over your bullshit. All right. Everyone there joined some shitty club and started doing shitty things with producers and whatnot, except for me. I don't need to. I have crypto. All right? I, and as a matter of, I didn't even have to do any of this shit I was doing to catch, not all of them, but the ones that are perverts aren't even associated in the grift anymore. It's all a grift, but the ones who are perverts and prey on children are not involved anymore. You're welcome. All right? I didn't even have to do that. That was extra to prove my loyalty to all that bullshit so I could get better jobs easier. I didn't, I didn't even have to do that shit. All right? That wasn't a requirement. That was me showing how trustworthy I am and all that bullshit. All right? To, to America, basically. Right? Um, and all these douchey losers are in some fucking anti-American international globalist club and they steal from Americans and they call it they call it 
donations or, you know, what is it? Like, donate to my thingamajiggy. That's how they steal from Americans. For 20 years, you've been donating to losers and your life's been getting shittier. And they're selling you coffee and they're selling you sh shit shirts made in China and all that bullshit. Also, I, I keep on saying, I know how two and two work. I literally do that on purpose because every now and then someone will say something and then I can use my grammars with my mutter joke, which I got from watching cartoons as a kid. But, no, Stephanie met me in person. <coughs> me and her had a lovely time. And then she wants to annoy me online for years and demand that we continue that wonderful time, not in person. I met you in person. I'm extra, I'm extra annoyed to know that you're Stephanie because I've already, we've all, all the things we've already done. Hurry the fuck up, Stephanie. Now, if I do find out that some of these rap losers were trying to slide into you, we're done. Because you're a whore. All right, all this is based, this continuation bullshit is based on Stephanie being a confused little girl who's been taken advantage of by Lou Sulaban and all her shitty management team. And she's finally free to do her own thing now, and she's going to do what she said she's going to do. Right? I'm never going to stop yelling at these fucking rap losers. They're losers. They're losers. If they had all the money that they have, why couldn't they get a K-pop? Because they're broke bitches who are puppets to a boulet society. Guess what? The mafia is run by the Freemasons. Guess what? The, uh, the, the gangs are run by Freemasons. Guess what? All this crazy bullshit is run by someone in some society. And when you get to it all, what all the societies really means, it's like a caste system. It really is. That's why I hate it so much. Nothing changes. You're just you're just like presumably on some other rung. And now you know that that person is also one of them and that person is also one of them. But it's the same person. It's the same thing. It's the same society. You just pretend like something changed. Nothing changed. It changed up here. The shit doesn't matter. I didn't join anything. Even when the head of the thingy, and it kind of makes sense that the I think like the headquarters is in Tokyo or some bullshit like that, which makes sense why video games, all the JRP. When I found that out, I was like, that's why I played all the JRPGs when I was a kid. There were like messages encoded to myself probably before I was even born, or some shit like that. But anyways, because in all the JRPGs, all you do is shun society, level up to ninety nine, uh, um destroy all the monsters, save humanity, then go to the moon to fight and defeat God to bring it or her to justice, whichever one it is in the, in the thingamajiggy. It's either an it or a her. So it kind of makes sense that Freemason headquarters would be in Tokyo. But no, I don't give a shit. Okay. The things you're doing to try to make it up work if you're Tiffany. Tiffany did those fucked up things and now Tiffany solved it. Stephanie met me. Claims that on that night, we, and trust me, I feel it too. That's why I'm so agitated. And Stephanie says we became soulmates in 2018. In January 20th of 2018, the worlds collided and we became soulmates. And then she had to go to Babyface Studios and go make producer loser collaborative music with douchey losers. That didn't even make her any money. It made her so little money that she's been living off of it in Korea because she can't live off of it in America. I actually would prefer if you weren't a Hyundai whatever the fuck. I would prefer if you were just Stephanie, that angry little girl who's mad at life and ran away to Korea and is finally starting to grow up. That's what I would prefer. Fucking retarded.